There's two, actually three awesome exotic plants you guys should try in your temperate garden. So on the right is Cordyline australis or New Zealand cabbage tree. Been there forever, growing in rock. So it's going to say it's a bonsai. That's been there for 20 years. In the middle, there's a uh, yucca recurvifolias. There's some little palms in there. On the left is Formium tenax. And uh, unfortunately, a B&B &B guest, this is one of our B&Bs, ran over that whole garden, broke half the Cordyline's off. But what was left uh, kept growing, thank God. Crunched the palms, broke the yuccas in half. Yuccas are regrowing, you can see it in the middle. And I don't often shoot too many videos up at this end. This is our far driveway, where gallery, the studio sign is. And uh, there's a palm there, there's a Trachycarpus palm. More formium there. Eucalyptus McCarthyi, some bamboo. And I uh, got some tiki's in here. But uh, this gets the early morning sun. And uh, they do very well here, actually, even though despite the very rocky soil, there's some 120 foot tall arbutus trees there. And uh, anyway, try them in your own garden. They go really well together. New Zealand flax on the left, and that's the bronze form, and dracaenas on the right, growing here on Salt Spring Island. And a beautiful start to an awesome day. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe for more videos here on this channel. The reason I have the cone there is so the cone heads or the boneheads that park in here don't run over the garden because one guy ran over that entire garden and it absolutely sucked. The day before I came out, I go, man, this garden's looking awesome. And the guy ran over the whole thing, just crunched everything. But that was like two years ago or whatever. But it's come back. Thanks for watching. Cheers.